welcome to Android Dialogues, where we have bite-sized conversations with people from the Android community. I'm Huynh Dao, and I'm speaking with... Marcus Paulo Souza da Maceno. Hi, Marcus. How you doing? Very good, yeah? Good. We, we are currently in New York. New York. In New York, we're getting ready to speak at DroidCon New York City, yes. um, where I met Marcus last year. Um, so, Marcus, where are you based? I'm based in Montreal now. Uh, I used to live in Quebec City before, and I'm from Brazil. But uh, Montreal is a great city. Nice. Very, very nice city. And how'd you get started in Android? Uh, I used to work with web before, like web development. And I used to do WVT at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And uh, the way you do Google Web Toolkit for the web, it's very close to how Android was at the beginning. So the transition was kind of easy. And I wanted to work on something that was exciting and and the web, I didn't feel like it was exciting for me anymore. Mm -hmm. So I just just thought about like I'm gonna try to do Android and see how it works. I like new Java mm -hmm. and everything. Actually, I tried iPhone first, iOS. Ah. Yeah, I have a dark pass. <laughs> I, had, I had an iPhone 3GS and I had iPhone 4. Yeah. So I tried the iPhone first, but I just hated. Like objective C. Yeah, it's a weird so language. Much. It's a really, it's a, it's an interesting yeah. language. I you used know, to do iOS too. Right? Yeah, it was not my that. thing. So I was like, you know what? Android is Java, so let's just do Android, and it's gonna be great. And the Galaxy S2 came out, and it was kind mm -hmm. of a good phone at the time. Yeah. So that's that's how. And then I started to do uh, Android, and that's it. And you've been today. here ever since. Team Android. Ever since Team Android. <laughs> so um, when I met Marcus last year, one of the things that I found out about him that I really like was that he's a UI guy because I'm a UI kind of girl. And this year you're talking about animations. Right? Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about user experience and animations. It's it's like a way to do animations on a, on a, in a sort of a way that will get user experience better mm -hmm. because today the applications, mobile applications are getting more, more complicated and, but we still have small screens. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, we have the Nexus 6, for example, it's like six inch, but not everybody has a phone like this. Mm -hmm. So it's getting complicated to know how am I going to put all the features that I want and everything that I want on a such a small screen. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then people came out with uh, like navigation drawer and tab right, bars right, and all the yeah. stuff. And, but people are using those stuff without thinking and everything. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and sometimes, just an animation that you can do on a button that pops out or, or a drawer that comes from the bottle and jump yeah. up a little bit, yeah. those things tell something to the user. Mm -hmm. You know when you're in the inbox application and you select emails and you click done, mm -hmm. there's animation that brings them to right. the right. right. So when you see that, you learn, oh, that mm -hmm. means that I can swipe to, right. and then you can do them just by swiping right. the email. Right. So, so, so you're focusing not necessarily on like technically how do I do this, but how you should be using them and good ways to like communicate, like literally like what does this animation say to the user and exactly. like let them know like what they can do or what like I guess kind of almost like what information, like helping to kind of like augment their understanding of what's going on in the app. Exactly. So more like that. Exactly, because today people care a lot about design and how beautiful the app right. is but they forget that animation is also important and many I think many because for designers maybe it's a little bit complicated to design an animation mm -hmm. like not everybody's familiar with pixelate and all the stuff mm -hmm. so so it's a way to, to show people like animations are important you should pay attention to it mm -hmm. and, and and you have to do something you can use it as your friend to, mm -hmm. to so your application can be better so and I'm going to show a little bit of code from, from Lollipop and, and Marshmallow, mm -hmm. how to do some animation, transition animations and all the stuff. Mm -hmm. And also how you can do animations also before Lollipop. Okay, yeah, so that was my question, because you know, a lot of this new cool stuff we get with Material is, you know, it's, it's only from Material on for like technical reasons, you know, because there's a render thread and there's all these kind of sexy things that kind of only work, you know, when you have that render thread to help with performance and, and stuff like that. But yeah, so that's my question. So you do address like, so what do you do if you have users, not on Lollipop, like how can you still create expressive yeah. Like, yeah, because Yes, because Lollipop and Marshmallow added new animations and new APIs and transitions and all those stuff so we mm -hmm. can work uh, easier with those animations and everything. Mm -hmm. But animations were there since the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Since, since like, 
the first API you could do animations. Mm -hmm. So it's it's really to show people like because what happened in Droid Com Montreal, for for example, when I did this talk first time, people were like, ah, oh, but. I don't want to do a code only for Lollipop. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do your animation only for Lollipop. The animation API is there. You just have to think in a way how you can do an animation that can help your user experience and your app. You just have to think how you're going to do with what you have in hands, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, I'm going to be talking a little bit about it. And awesome. So animations for everyone. Animations for everyone. everyone not but please, not too much. Not too much. Because if not, not it's much. going to be a 1994 PowerPoint <laughs> <laughs> presentation, and you don't want that. <laughs> OK, so, um, so you actually are one of the co-organizers of DragCon Montreal. Yeah. And I'd yeah. love to hear, like, you know, um, how, because we talked to Phil a little bit um, yeah. and wanted to get your story on how you got started with, you know, how this idea come up and, and what kind of drove you guys to do Montreal or Dracon in Montreal. So, uh, when I was in Brazil, I used to participate of many conferences mm -hmm. and I even gave talks in Brazil before. And I used to be related a little bit with the GDG and all the stuff. So, I, right. I like to do uh, conferences. Mm -hmm. And one way that I got my job, my first job in Android back to 2010 mm -hmm. and all the stuff was through conferences. Mm -hmm. I used to go to conferences, I learned a lot of stuff that I couldn't learn anywhere else mm -hmm. and I met nice people and I could have my new job. So I was always in interested in, in being able to do the same thing to other people so okay, they can have the same opportunity that I had. So when I came to DroidCon New York and I saw how amazing it was, I was like, you know what, what does it take to have something like that in Montreal? Like, mm -hmm. why we can't have something like that in Montreal? And, and then I talked to Jeff, I talked to Kevin, and I talked to the organization of DroidCon. I talked to my company and I, I convinced them it was, good, it was a good idea. It was a great idea. And uh, that's it, it was very nice. It was challenging, mm -hmm. but it was very exciting. Nice. Very, very exciting. But it was, it was complicated. All right, I have to ask you. How much poutine did you guys eat that weekend? Poutine, or poutine, is a Canadian dish originating in the province of Quebec, made with French fries and cheese curds, topped with a light brown gravy-like sauce. How much poutine did you guys eat that weekend? That oh weekend? my god, it was so much poutine, so much, it was like 38 kilos? Sorry guys, sorry, I'm from Brazil, I'm a kilo guy. <laughs> A lot of poutine. That's a lot of poutine. I, I like that God. you kept the stats on that. Those are important figures, you know, yeah. to kind of sell, you know, Montreal for for this year. Yeah, we had poutine for lunch. Which conference you have poutine for lunch? I mean, come on, that's a that's a huge selling point right there. Joy Con Montreal, like <laughs> like imagine my hands full of poutines. <laughs> How amazing that would be. You should uh, like you know maybe like have an Android like covered in poutine. Like that could be yeah, like that actually, little, we, like logo. Yeah, we're playing with uh, next year logo, and we are thinking about putting poutine somewhere. Like uh, a little bit of spoiler, sorry. But <laughs> actually, maybe when this is out, this is going to be out. We will already. I have announced uh, Droidcom Montreal, mm -hmm. so I can say to you guys, there's going to be May of le next year. Please Google IO, don't be May. <laughs> if you're listening to me, if you see me, don't be May. Thank please. you. So we can go to both. Exactly. So, so we can go to both. So it's going to be May, I'm not sure, 28, 27, 29, 30, something like, something that. like that. Okay. And uh, I have some information. It might be... I, I didn't see. <laughs> we have a cheat sheet. Yes. It's uh, May 19th to 1920. That's it. All right. Well, let me just. So, so when is Droidcon Montreal going to be? It's going to be in May 19 and 20 of next right. year. So, mark your calendars and pretty please Google IO don't be on the same days. Please Google so we, IO. So, we can do both. Yeah. So, we can right. eat poutine. Poutine. A lot With of Marcus. poutine. <laughs> With me. It's a me. Marcus. <laughs> it's a, so Marcus, where can people find you on the internet? So you can find me on Twitter, uh, Marcos, Marcos Paulo SD. I believe the link will be in the description. Yeah, we'll post a link in the show notes. Yeah, so it's going to be easier. You can also find me on Google Plus, but I'm not very active. Or you can find me in conferences. Yeah, just like, go and say hi. Yeah, I'm always there. I can give you a hug. I can, I can 
not kiss you, but but you know, we can talk I mean, about that's, stuff. That's, that's kind of you know, ca- ca- French Canadian, you know, like yeah, yeah, the, like, two sides. Yeah, French Canadian, yeah. Brazilian, yeah. Brazilian yeah. style. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So both sides. I can, I can, I can make you some caipirinhas and. Oh, and, and talk, talk about poutine. And talk about poutine. Lots yeah, of poutine. poutine, poutine, like <laughs> poutine with bacon. It's the best. All right. Well, thanks so much, Marcus. I thank you. It was great. And thank you, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.